welcome welcome back to the wsxm channel thanks for watching my name is Stefan as always thanks for telling a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to like comment share and subscribe so Burkina Faso citizens are on the go again this time they are protesting for the removal of the French embassy from so close to Abraham Chouri and his security personnel they don't want him to be so close because they, they, they are enemies we know this they are trying to take it they are trying to take him out multiple times they fail i think it's up to nine times now he has been trying to try to attack Abraham Chouri so the citizens came out not Abraham Chouri not the government of Burkina Faso not the security personnel the citizens saw this and take action so that we do not want the French embassy is so close to our president. And this is the reason why um Abraham Chur is, is um is so protected and loved because his citizens a hundred percent box him. But you know what? Take a listen to what some of the protesters are two of the protesters was saying and they're gonna discuss it. We're not proud of the French embassy being so close to our presidency and our security, said Haidara Wedrago, a demonstrator. When the enemy is close, you have to be very careful. Our enemy is real, and that's why we demand the French embassy be removed from next to our presidency. We protested peacefully, but our police force attacked us with tear gas, where Draogo continued, displaying a gas canister he claimed hit him. Pugraogo Lankoande, another demonstrator, explained, We were asked to send leaders into the embassy, but some people wanted to see the head of the embassy. When they tried to go around, the police started gassing people. The crowd was disciplined and did not provoke the police. So there you have it. The citizens themselves are demanding the um the embassy to move from the location where they are to move on somewhere else. Which will happen because the fact that the citizens is the one who initiated this, then the government can now take action by telling them, listen to me, my citizens don't know one so close to, to my president, you need to go to another province. We're not telling them to leave, but go to another province because we as citizens are as out, um, outside of looking in, we do not want, we would not, we would not want for um, a nation to tell Burkina Faso embassy to pack up and close the doors and go. No, because we still need to have dialogue with people, we still need to trade. So that's a must because that's how countries operate. We have to trade, we have to have um, mutual respect for each other. But at the same time, we do not want no threat from said embassy to our president which is why they demand the removal of this embassy from the location it is currently and i don't wrong them because what there is of the from now and up to now there is up to nine attempts on abram chiori's life nine and it's foil of course because he's still there kicking but why because his men loves him they are they, um they have his loyalty and his citizens are loyal to him they love him as well because of what he's done and what he's doing for the citizens and what and the example is setting for others to follow suit and which you have the niger president the mali and the guinea they are stepping up um zambia president um botswana um zimbabwe president Manangorgo, um president Museveni from uganda and so forth they are now you have this big opera in kenya we are trying to get rid of president Ruto. So there is a change happening on the continent where the younger generations are telling the older generation, listen to me, you guys are still too stuck in the old ways. We need to move forward to the modern times, which in the sense of no more puppetry leaders, no more older heads just there to enrich themselves, their family and their cronies and their uh, friends. No, we are, you, you should be, you are there solely to enrich and enrich the citizens, enrich the country, and put the country in a brighter light, which is what Abraham Chori has done multiple times by giving upgrading agricultural fields, giving lands for agriculture free, giving equipment, seeds, fertilizers, by building a gold refinery, um, by building a waste management plan to to manage waste from different different countries as well. Um, he's building um, infrastructures. He's building it, building it out. He's building. He just they just finished a new airport, and they are 
Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, the three Sahel countries are trying to um, have a airline. Now they're trying to have their own currency and to get it of a CFA franc. Oh, quick side note. Did you know that recently France is minting 14 countries CFA franc? We know this already. But they recently tried to, in Mali, they sent a batch of fake, um, it's reported, it's allegedly reported that the French sent a, a, um, a shipment of fake CFA franc. Luckily, it was caught by the, by the, the government of Mali and destroyed it in, before it gets into circulation. If that had to get into circulation, it would cause it would major havoc on the economy. So we see that the French are actively, if this is true, the French is actively trying to destabilize these countries. Why? Because what? They are losing trillions of dollars annually by losing grip on these countries. That's the main reason why they are still fighting to hold on to the to the others, like the Cameroon, the um, Nigeria, Benin, most of the East African countries, they still under French colonization rules, which is what they do are trying their very best to grip it because it's slipping from their fingers and the more and more presidents that actually start to work for the people instead of against the people, like what President Ruta is currently doing in Kenya. He's working against his own people. All they have to do as a president, is do what you need to do for the citizens, and you don't need to um campaign. You don't need to um do ads. The people just naturally put it back into power, like what they did to Adam Chiori. The citizens demand he stays in power. Citizens, not Adam Chiori's cronies and his friends. The citizens came out in thousands, hundreds of thousands of Burkina Bay citizens came and said, we want Abraham Chiori to lead. We don't want no, no election. We don't want no politician. Why? Because he's doing what needs to be done. He's, no, he's still receiving um, um, a captain salary, not a presidential salary. Can he refuse? Because he said that um, in a speech he gave a couple of months back, he said it's Burkina Faso or death, which means if he cannot free his... Um, not free if he cannot if he cannot he will not go against his country guy that he would never be a traitor then put it away he could never be like others who hoard hordes onto hordes or to or hold on that's a better word to power holds on to to wealth and by enriching his family his citizen his um his friends are so he, he's the opposite of that he's a shining light on the continent anyway I don't want to ramble, ramble on too much, but you get, a, you get the picture, what I'm trying to say. So, let me know what I think about this in the comment section of the Burkina Faso citizens demanding the French embassy move their location because they're too close to the president and they don't want them so close to, the, to, uh, to their president, the, um, their, the son of the soil, for any reason that they have, allegedly they have proof that the French has attempted to take his life. So. To be safe instead of to be sorry, move from there. We don't want to there anymore. Anyway, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. As always, tell a friend to tell a friend, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. My name is Teflon. That's my name. You can get to know it, get familiarized with it, and then you get you can converse as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Boom.